Welcome back to The Exchange. President Biden's $1.9 trillion relief plan is causing massive moves in the municipal bond market. Investors are piling into those bonds, anticipating potentially billions of dollars in stimulus to cash-strap local governments. Now, in the days following the Georgia Senate elections, investors plowed $2.5 billion into muni bond funds. And according to Lipper, these inflows are the third biggest on record. Here to discuss the direction of that muni market under the Biden administration is Mark Paris, chief investment officer and head of municipal strategies for Invesco's fixed income group. Mark, you thank you very much for joining us here. Great the muni, here, the muni bond market, it's not something that we talk about often, but it literally is billions and billions of investor dollars flowing in. What exactly is driving it? We talked about the administration. What is it about the administration that gets muni investors excited right now? Well, I think, Dominic, there's a bunch of factors working in our favor. Yes, we do have a Democratic-controlled Senate, House, uh, and the presidency, and the feeling is that will, we will get a good stimulus bill. Uh, the feeling is that that will help states and localities, which really wasn't talked about the first time. But the other thing is that there's certainly a perception now that taxes are going to go up a little bit more. Whether or not that truly happens, I don't know, but I think investors understand that the money that you make on munis is what you keep. It's tax exempt. Uh, the market is strong fundamentally. It's very strong technically from a flow standpoint. And I think that investors realize that where you know where you can get you know one of the biggest bangs for your buck and not have to write a check to the IRS is in munis. And if the perception continues to be that taxes are going to go higher, I think we're going to continue to see a very strong year in muni flows. It, it seems so counterintuitive. We know how the struggles are for state and local governments, especially in some of the coastal areas, some of the bigger revenue type state profiles. How exactly then do investors get beyond that? Why are they so optimistic if they know that there are these big hurdles that can only really be solved with massive amounts of taxpayer aid coming down the pike? Well, Dominic, I don't think it's only taxpayer aid. I think that states have a lot of levers that they can pull. They do have access to the market. Even during the worst of the pandemic, uh, the Metropolitan Transit Authority was able to borrow. The state of Illinois was able to borrow. There was the municipal liquidity facility that a few people uh, tapped into. And municipalities can raise taxes. They can raise state and local taxes. Uh, localities can raise property taxes. So issuing paper, raising taxes, that's another thing. The other thing is that they weathered the storm fairly well. They had high uh, days cash on hand, rainy day funds. Uh, you look at things like airports and toll roads. Uh, they were well uh, in, in good shape for this pandemic. So there's a lot of levers that they can pull, not just the stimulus. I think they're waiting to see what the stimulus number looks like. If it's a good number, then maybe they'll have to raise local taxes uh, a little bit less. But look, the economy is going to come back. Uh, the vaccine is going to proliferate through the population. And when that happens, I, I think you're going to see municipalities feel a lot better about their finances. It'll be longer. It'll take a little bit more time. But we didn't see a lot of defaults in the marketplace. We didn't even see a tremendous amount of downgrades in the marketplace. Municipalities weathered the storm fairly well, and they do have multiple levels, not just to wait on the stimulus. So you, you mentioned, you mentioned, you know, some, you know, public works projects, stadium type things. You mentioned taxpayers a lot. That focuses on revenue type project bonds versus general obligation or taxation type bonds. Where exactly do investors in the muni market go for the best relative values and outlook is it for cities and state municipalities? Is it for waterworks? Is it for utility type bonds? What exactly is it? So I think we're going to see some infrastructure dollars come, come towards the muni market. I think that's one place where there's consensus between Democrats and Republicans. And I think that'll be a good place uh, for issuance in the market. But as far as where investors should be, yes, we do like the essential services of the muni market. You wake up in the morning, you turn the lights on, you own the power company. You go to brush your teeth, you own the water company. You go to work, you drive on that toll road that we own uh, as, as well. And we do believe that, you know, essential services are going to come back. Right now, we're not going to airports. We're not riding on the trains. Uh, we're not doing a lot of the public transportation. Uh, but we are going to be doing that soon. And I think that's a great area for investors to be focused on between that and what we get from possibly an infrastructure bill. I think those will be good places for investors to focus on, as well as, you know, some of the state and local governments where the credits are actually, you know, fairly strong. If you're buying a single A, double A uh, state or locality, I think you're going to be just fine as far as the fundamentals go. Just a couple seconds left here. Is there any trend you see geographically to where those better municipalities are? Is it certain parts of the country, certain areas? 
I think there are places that you do have to watch out for a little bit. There's a lot of debt in my home state of New Jersey. Illinois is always uh, in, in the headlines. It really comes down to really good credit research. And if you're doing really good credit research or with a manager that's doing really good independent credit research, I think you're going to be just fine. All right. Mark Paris at Invesco, thank you very much for bringing us up to speed on everything in the muni market right now. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right. Well, coming up on the show, regulation fear. What regulation fear? Alphabet hits an all-time high as investors and analysts ignore Washington and bet on clicks. Plus, dead money or ready for a return. We'll look at what could be next for Intel as they get ready to report their numbers. And don't forget, you can always watch us live on the go using the CNBC app. The exchange will be right back after this. Muni Money is sponsored by BAM. Ask your investment advisor about BAM insured Muni bonds. When the market is unpredictable, BAM gives you certainty. In the face of market volatility and illiquidity, BAM insured municipal bonds deliver default protection, value preservation, and a durable rating. BAM. Build America Mutual. 